The American cities of today are fragile and fragmented. For decades now, when America has built new places, they've tended to look like this. But nowadays, we know that sprawl is bad for the environment, traffic, business, and our physical and mental health. In fact, the U.S. Surgeon General put a warning label on non-walkable neighborhoods like a pack of cigarettes. Matt Lewis of Simple City Design thinks there's a better way. Simple City is leveraging some of the oldest, simplest design principles around to build new, beautiful neighborhoods. Our goal is to only work on places that people want to hang out, places that are worth caring about, places that are affordable. Well, how do we resolve for all of these issues? I've got so many goals that we're trying to accomplish, but I'm going to say we've cracked the code. What do a huge metropolis like Manhattan and this small town have in common? Their downtowns are laid out like a grid. The grid is walkable, easy to navigate, and attracts a diversity of tenants. For hundreds of years, it was the default way American cities got built. Post-World War II, we discovered a new model. The American push to build suburbs was fueled by a lot of overlapping considerations. Cheap cars and gas, honest-to-goodness optimism about the future, segregationist building codes and white flight. It's complicated. Fast forward to today, and suburbs are deeply entrenched in American life. Unfortunately, we also have a lot of evidence that they don't work as well for humans as gridded development does. Curvy streets are less navigable and walkable than the grid, meaning more traffic and more pedestrian fatalities. And while the downtowns of cities usually have no problem attracting commercial tenants, when huge retail stores and strip malls in the suburbs close down, it's hard to get new businesses to move in. But America is still building suburbs. In fact, in most places in the US, building low-density sprawl is more or less legally required. The development codes govern what you see going vertical in your communities. But the metrics on the books in conventional codes are not looking at the long-term interest of how the community fits together. So Matt decided to rewrite the codes from the ground up. Bastrop's located about 23 miles southeast of Austin, Texas, and it was always ready to grow. We knew it was coming. Austin's already went every direction but east. They did not want to build subdivisions. They wanted to build neighborhoods. But because of the decades-old code they had on the books, without an intervention, Bastrop would have ended up with more suburbs. So Bastrop hired Matt and his team at Simple City to rewrite the code. The keys for the future are housed in downtown. Bastrop has 330-foot short walkable blocks. The grid created a sense of community. Every morning, the same shopkeepers come out, clean off the sidewalks, and greet their neighbors. This building is illegal under their old development standards, and you can see that it's a human-scaled building. It's comfortable, it's lovely. The new code Matt's team came up with is called the B3 code. At its core, it's based on duplicating Bastrop's thriving, fiscally productive, gridded downtown. By stripping away the baggage of suburban development codes, like minimum parking requirements, Bastrop is one of the first cities in America to explicitly code for gridded development. And the results are promising. As you connect streets, you build your water lines, and you don't have dead-end lines. There's a better tax rate that maintains the streets, that maintains the sidewalks, that maintains all that stuff. If there's a traffic jam, you can just move over and go up one block. The new Bastrop building block code promotes for house form commercial. Every lot is allowed to have two accessory dwelling units, and there are no minimum lot dimensions. It's a low startup cost for entrepreneurs, and as you gain wealth, then you can expand your footprint. It is that simple. Everybody has their own memory of going to visit a small town or when they grew up in a small town. Bastrop won't be a small town forever, but we're gonna save the small town feel. We often say cities don't get do-overs. Once your infrastructure is installed, those patterns are established for decades to come. And those patterns are what we're gonna be leaving for the next generations. We believe that the Building Block Code is the project to save America. We're hopeful that the Building Block approach is utilized across the country. 
to create authentic places worth caring about. Hey, thanks for watching this video made possible by Ford. If you liked it, share it with a friend and check out freethink.com for more stories of people moving the world.